Symposium should be here. But that's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. I doubt it. Told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. <laughs> this house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, and this is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? gives me a tingle down my spine, like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, uh, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? 
Because you do not know either? Because, as Dinwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that I've refused to look at it. This is about you. I took an oath to me as part of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every- Is that a threat? I do not know. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. Thank you. We're done. There is that poet, the Bidlov, whose work keeps turning up in... Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahriman. ready to begin. Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood? who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please. 
Feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the Great Scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fuzzy needs the order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest word. Those who came before are... Those who came before are... Did you see the powerful terror on the Great Scholar's face? How exciting! You look like somebody about to get his skull What do you think frightened the Great Scholar? How the old forget Four I must have imagined it. one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. What do you see, Enkidu? I heard a room... A secret basement? You must be... No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basement. I'm aware of no such location. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family to- A wise choice. Now, ab Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hat. Thank you. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet. We better find Fossil's book or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase.
looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reform of the House of Wisdom by Fazli Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. <laughs> Some of this! Stop! You will suffer! the reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. Fahim could be his masterwork. Its title is Those Who Came Before Are Those Who Shall Return. This has to be it. I better not use my weapons here. Gatekeeper! Those who came before are... Are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed!
looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those ropes might help me get closer to Fossil. What have they done to these people? need this anymore. This should help me blend in. Before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works. I will prove myself to Al Bahamu. In here, Lackwit. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? 
We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. Then what? Maybe here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the door. Peter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. 